This is the Ontario Line, Canada's $28 billion driverless subway transforming Toronto's transit system. Stretching 15 kilometers across Toronto, it'll move nearly 400,000 people a day through tunnels, elevated tracks, and fully automated trains. But this is just one piece of a much bigger picture. Across Canada, billions are being invested in mega projects, reshaping cities, powering communities, and building the nation's future. So today, we're diving into the biggest and boldest projects changing Canada forever, and how they're reshaping the way Canadians live, travel, and power their world. Let's kick things off with one of the Ontario Line subway. Toronto's been battling congestion for decades. Anyone who's ever tried to cross the city at rush hour knows the pain. It can take over an hour to travel across downtown. But imagine cutting that down to just 30 minutes. That's what the Ontario Line promises. At nearly $28 billion, this 15-kilometer network will connect Exhibition Place in the west all the way to the Ontario Science Centre in the east. And here's the cool part. It's not just underground. We're talking a mix of tunnels, elevated tracks, and surface sections, like something out of a sci-fi movie. Now, what makes it truly futuristic? Driverless trains. Yep, fully automated, using some of the most advanced signaling and control systems in the world. The goal? To move nearly 400,000 people a day while cutting 28,000 car trips off the road. That's a major win for traffic, but also for the environment. Less time in cars means fewer emissions, cleaner air, and a happier Toronto. Construction kicked off in 2022, and while it's going to be years before it's finished, thousands of people are already working to make it happen. If all goes according to plan, this line won't just move people. It'll move Toronto into a new era of sustainable transit. Now let's talk energy, specifically nuclear energy, because one of the biggest and most quietly ambitious projects in the country is happening out in Ontario at the Bruce Power Nuclear Generating Station. This massive plant already supplies about 30% of Ontario's electricity, but it's getting a serious upgrade, a $13 billion refurbishment to keep it running for decades. We're talking six nuclear reactors being overhauled with brand new components using robotics and AI to handle dangerous high precision work. It's one of those projects that doesn't make flashy headlines, but it's absolutely critical. When it's finished, Bruce Power will keep pumping out clean, reliable energy while cutting greenhouse gas emissions equivalent to removing 5 million cars from the road. Think about that, 5 million cars. That's the kind of impact that doesn't just power homes, it powers a greener future, and all of it while supporting thousands of high-skilled Canadian jobs. All right, moving from the reactors to the runways, let's talk about Toronto Pearson International Airport. If you've flown through Pearson, you already know, it's huge, busy, and constantly packed but it's about to get even bigger. With nearly $5 billion being poured into a massive expansion, Pearson is on its way to handling over 65 million passengers a year. That's like adding the population of France through its gates every single year. The new mega terminal will feature smarter baggage handling systems, upgraded international arrivals, and digital tech that makes travel smoother than ever. They're even designing flood-resistant and energy-efficient systems to make sure the airport is ready for both the passenger surge and the changing climate. And what's even more impressive? Construction is being phased carefully so flights can keep running without major disruptions. By 2035, Pearson won't just be Canada's busiest airport, it'll be one of the most advanced travel hubs in the world. Now, let's go east to Newfoundland and Labrador. Because this province isn't just about rugged coastlines and icebergs anymore, it's about wind. Massive, clean, world-leading wind. The Newfoundland Wind Energy Project is a $1 billion investment to build one of the largest wind farms on the planet, featuring more than 300 turbines generating over 4 gigawatts of energy. But here's the twist. It's not just about electricity. The power from these turbines will be used to create green hydrogen, a zero-emission fuel that could revolutionize global energy markets. And get this, some of the turbines will be floating offshore, taking advantage of steady, high-speed winds that blow over deep waters. 
Floating turbines are the next big thing in renewable energy, and Canada's jumping right in. Once operational, the project will not only power millions of homes, but also create thousands of jobs, turning Newfoundland into a major player in the world's clean energy economy. Speaking of things that move, let's hit the road. The Greater Toronto Area has one of the most congested highway networks in North America, and it's about to get some relief. Enter Highway 413, a $6 billion mega expressway linking Highway 400 to the 407 ETR. That's nearly 60 kilometers of new road designed to speed up commutes, streamline freight routes, and connect communities. But this isn't your grandpa's highway. The design includes electric vehicle charging stations, truck inspection areas, and even autonomous grading equipment during construction. They're using drone mapping and sustainable materials to make sure it's both efficient and eco-friendly. And with noise-reducing barriers and wildlife crossings, it's a highway built with people and nature in mind. By the way, if you've made it this far, take a second to drop a comment. Which of these projects blows your mind the most? Personally, I'm still thinking about those floating wind turbines. Now, while roads are being built and subways are digging deep, Ontario's GEO Transit system is getting a next-gen upgrade too. The GEO Transit expansion is a staggering $21 billion overhaul of the commuter rail network, switching from diesel to electric trains and adding over 200 kilometers of new tracks, tunnels, and bridges. Once complete, trains will run every 15 minutes during rush hour. Imagine never having to wait long for a ride again. This expansion isn't just about convenience, it's about sustainability. By electrifying the system, GO will slash emissions by 50%. That's huge. Plus, thousands of jobs are being created in the process. It's one of those projects that might not look flashy from the outside, but it'll completely change the way people move across Ontario. All right, let's head to Quebec, because Montreal's iconic Olympic Stadium, affectionately called the Big O, is finally getting the love it deserves. After decades of leaks, costly repairs, and that infamously problematic retractable roof, an $870 million revitalization is underway. The goal is to transform this symbol of 1970s ambition into a modern, world-class venue. The new roof will be durable and weather-resistant, and the surrounding areas will be turned into vibrant public spaces with green parks and entertainment venues. Even the aquatic center and gymnasiums are being upgraded. Once it's done, Montreal will have a stadium that not only honors its Olympic legacy, but also draws major global events again. It's a revival story, and Montreal loves a good comeback. Now, way out east again, there's the Bay du Nord oil project in Newfoundland and Labrador, a $1 billion deep water venture that's breaking records. This project will pull up to 200,000 barrels of oil a day from waters over 1,200 meters deep using a floating production and storage vessel instead of traditional platforms. That means lower costs, more flexibility, and fewer environmental risks. But here's what's really fascinating. They're using carbon capture and energy efficient systems to make it one of the cleanest deep water operations ever attempted. It's controversial, sure, oil projects always are, but it's also a showcase of how Canada is trying to balance energy demand with sustainability. Let's swing over to Saskatchewan now, where the $1.9 billion Regina Bypass is already making history as the largest transportation infrastructure project the province has ever seen. It's 61 kilometers long with 12 overpasses, 40 kilometers of new four-lane highway, and dozens of service roads. What's really smart here is how the bypass incorporates wildlife corridors and sound barriers showing that infrastructure doesn't have to come at the cost of the environment. The bypass isn't just helping commuters, it's streamlining trade routes, cutting travel times, and giving Saskatchewan's economy a long-term boost. Meanwhile, back in Montreal, the stunning Samuel de Champlain Bridge stands as one of Canada's most impressive modern structures. Costing $4.4 billion and stretching 3.4 kilometers this cable-stayed bridge replaced the old, crumbling Champlain Bridge, one of the busiest in the country. With over 50 million vehicles crossing every year, the new bridge had to be strong, efficient, and built to last. 
and it is. Made from ultra-durable materials like advanced steel and concrete, it's designed to handle Montreal's tough winters and heavy traffic for a century. It's not just functional, it's beautiful. The sleek modern design has already become a new symbol of Montreal's forward-looking spirit. And speaking of modern transit, Quebec City is getting in on the action too with its brand new $3.3 billion tramway system. Spanning 16 kilometers, this light rail will link the suburbs to the downtown core using low emission electric vehicles. The design blends seamlessly into the city and it's expected to shift thousands of commuters away from cars, cutting down traffic and pollution while boosting accessibility. It's a project that's been shaped heavily by public input, showing how communities can play a real role in shaping their city's future. When it's done, Quebec City will be one of the most transit-friendly cities in Canada, taking a major step towards sustainability and livability. Now let's get to one of the most talked about projects in the entire country, the Trans Mountain Pipeline Expansion. Worth a staggering $12.6 billion, it's twinning an existing pipeline that runs from Alberta to the coast of British Columbia. This expansion will increase oil transport capacity by more than 500,000 barrels a day, allowing Canada to reach new global markets, especially in Asia. It's controversial, no doubt. Environmental groups have raised concerns about spill risks and carbon emissions. But in response, the project has implemented some of the most advanced safety systems ever used in pipeline infrastructure, like real-time monitoring and emergency containment technologies. Love it or hate it, there's no denying it's a project with massive economic implications. Finally, let's head west to Vancouver for a project that's changing what urban living can look like, the Oak Ridge Center redevelopment. This $5 billion transformation is turning a standard shopping mall into a futuristic, mixed-use, mini-city. We're talking 2,500 new homes, office towers, cultural spaces, and green public areas all powered by sustainable technology. Picture this, rooftop gardens, solar panels, EV charging stations, and walkable streets all in one place. It's designed as a model for what modern urban life could be, dense, efficient, green, and human-focused. Once completed, Oak Ridge won't just be a shopping destination, it'll be a thriving community at the heart of Vancouver's future growth. When you look at all these projects together, the subways, the bridges, the clean energy plants, it paints a clear picture. Canada's not just keeping up with the world's infrastructure race, it's leading it. These builds are tackling some of the biggest challenges of our time, congestion, climate change, and urban sprawl. They're creating jobs, cutting emissions, and connecting communities in ways that didn't seem possible even a decade ago. Sure, mega projects come with massive price tags and inevitable delays. But when they're done right, the payoff lasts for generations. From the bustling streets of Toronto to the windy coasts of Newfoundland, Canada is building its future piece by piece, and it's looking pretty impressive. So, which of these projects do you think will have the biggest impact on Canada's future? Is it the game-changing Ontario line, the clean energy push from Newfoundland, or maybe that futuristic Oak Ridge development in Vancouver? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your take. And of course, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed the deep dive, subscribe for more mega project breakdowns, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss what's next. Because trust me, Canada's not slowing down anytime soon. The cranes are rising, the turbines are spinning, and the future is being built, one mega project at a time.